Yo guys, we just hit 6k on YouTube. Very happy about that. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. And let's get straight into the video. I'm making this video as a 6,000 subscriber special so that I can help you get Funky Friday settings that you'll be happy with to help you play better at the game. If you guys have been in my streams or watch my videos, you already know that most of the time I use a circle skin. So I'll be covering some of the best settings for a circle skin. But as of recently, as you can see in the background, I've transitioned to bars. Now, bars have a bad reputation of Funky Friday for being extremely bad. And I agree, Funky Friday have not made good bar settings and the whole bar skin is bad. Because I have now transitioned to bars, I have decided to test around with the settings. And I came across this really good group of settings that I wanted to share with you guys because I found that it actually looks pretty good and plays pretty well. I'm also going to give you guys a couple of tips to help you push past your comfort zone in Funky Friday to get all those PFCs and the 100% and the full combos we all like seeing. I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can do that. These are the core settings of the game. This is not necessarily skin related all that much, but it can impact the way your game is. So I'm going to take you through it. Since I do a lot of streaming and video recording, my PC is not the top end. So if your device is not high end, say you're playing on a mobile or a low end laptop, I recommend you hide the lobby, disable opponent arrows. If you do not care about what your opponent is doing and what their arrows look like, you can disable that so you only see your own. I haven't hit the map, but that's just a preference. You can hide the map if you want or not. Toggle material. So these all here are like map stuff. There we go. So if you want to turn these off, obviously there's less materials. If you want to turn these off, there's less shadows. Now things look a bit uglier, but you know what? My FPS is very smooth right now. I've got very good FPS. Let's turn those on just for this video's sake. Toggle camera movement. We want to turn this off. This happened, what this does is, as you're playing a match, it'll the camera will pan between you and your opponent and constantly going back and forth. Now for me, I don't like that. It's not very good implemented in Funky Friday. And I'd rather just keep a still frame of both characters. Toggle bot play. Yep, we want the bot. I have mine set to 100% for a real challenge camera movement speed we disabled camera movement to begin with so we just leave that info bar and opponents info bar so if you want to see what your stats are see if you've got a hundred percent or any misses turn these on it, I think it's good stats label I would ignore this this isn't really necessary that just shows you how many um, marvelouses and perfects and greats you got so it's not that not that important Scroll underlay transparency. This is whether there'll be a black box underneath your notes or not. I've got mine set to zero because I like a complete black box. But if I wanted to see some people behind, I'd set it to around 0.1 or 0.2 because then it's not completely black and I can still see what's under, but not that much to the point where it's too distracting. Ghost tapping is good, I recommend you put it on unless you want a challenge and that just allows you to tap when there's no notes on the screen without missing. Middle scroll, yep, I like that, so we're going to put middle scroll on, makes my notes bigger, easier to uh, read and see. Toggle health bar, I actually haven't turned that on so I couldn't tell you. Yep, I play down scroll but others play up scroll. Note hit time, so these are all just like extra colours and stats. If I wanted to disable note hit time, I wouldn't see milliseconds when I hit a note. Now, note this down. This one, I want you to note down because I've got a very nice hit sound that I found. It's got very, very, very little delay and it just sounds awesome. I want you guys to jot this number down. 714-777-1362. I guarantee you it is a beautiful hit sound with very little delay and you will love it. Hit note volume, I have mine set to 1, which is actually a bit loud. I would put it to like 0 0.5. Personally, that's what I would do. Arrow fade, don't worry about that. Pressed arrow glow, do not worry. None of this really matters. Now, arrow offset and hitbox offset. This is for lag. If you have a laggy device, 
then you might want to change your arrow offset or hitbox offset up or down and this will compensate for your lag in your input delay and so it'll try and hit it on time when you tap and it doesn't instantly hit so that's my breakdown of the main settings if you need to go back and listen to what I said or just look at some numbers real quick go do that the video is always going to be here it's not going to go anywhere so yeah that is my breakdown of the main settings now that I've shown you my core settings the very first skin I want to show you is the circle skin so let's get into that so this one's actually really easy to apply it's not that hard so first I'm going to take you through the actual settings themselves here for circles so what I've got lined up here is four white circles completely white um, but that is up to you that is your choice you can make these circles whatever you color you want I just like the habit of having them all one color it makes it easier for me to read so we're going to a settings these are the settings that I use 2.25 speed so a tip that I'm going to give you right now if you want to get better and to push yourself further is to set your arrow speed beyond two speed now I know that seems pretty fast it can be scary but trust me when you start playing a lot of the harder maps there's gonna be more notes and the more notes they are and the slower your speed is the more squashed and compressed and harder to read it'll be but as you slowly start raising your speed maybe two two and a half two point one doesn't have to be fast but set your base speed to two because as you start getting faster the notes will start spreading out and then you'll read patterns better because you can actually see what they are arrow size is 1.1 so it's not the max size because the max is 1.3 and it's not the smallest it's just somewhere in the center I find it to be a good size now this is super easy nothing complex but lane offset and height offset can both be zero you do not have to worry about that I know that some skins and a lot of people like to raise their lane uh, raise their height offset so that their receptors so where the circles land are higher or lower or their lane offset so that the notes are spread out more and more but I like it just the way it is the default settings for lane offset and height offset are really good so if I were to go into a map now, I'll give you a demonstration as to what that looks like. Um, left unchecked. Yeah, I like this song. We're just going to do it. Hypnos Lullaby is one of my favorites. Alright. This is what it'll look like once you apply the settings. A brief example. As you can see, the receptors are at the bottom of the screen, so the notes actually go way down. But there's good spacing, and the speed is just right. I can read the patterns, and I find it quite fun. Now, getting into the second skin, this skin is for all my bar players out there who have been wronged by Funky Friday for not coming up with good bar skins. But I've taken the liberty to try my best to create something that is actually readable with bars. So jumping straight into this, we have bars. Now I like orange color. Orange is a very nice color on these bars and it looks very nice on a black dark background. So I use orange, but that is completely up to you what color you want to use. Style. Now I forgot to go over this in my circle skin showcase, but when I use style, I have, I have currently have this selected to bar wide, which means that the long notes, when you hold down a long note on the bar, the long note will actually be the same size as the note itself. Whilst if you just select the bar, the long note is a little thin line. So I actually like to use bar, which is a little thin long note, like in normal Friday Night Funking, rather than bar wide or circle wide, which is the same width as the note itself so i recommend you use bar and not bar wide or circle and not circle wide getting into settings now these ones are a bit funky so i'm going to take you through them 
arrow speed is 2.15 or 2.15, whatever you want to say. Uh, the reason is that I've actually raised the height offset of this skin to negative 70. So what's that? what that's going to do is when I load into a match, the bar receptors at the bottom, they're not going to be at the bottom. They're going to be nearly in the middle of the screen. So instead of the notes coming down all the way from top to bottom, they're going to come down from top to middle. And the reason why I raised my receptors is because with note skins, since the notes are thinner, um, it make, it, it's like a lie. Circle skins and other skins are very wide in terms of width and height, so they look bigger naturally. Whilst when you play with a bar skin, they're so thin that it just makes it look a lot more longer, reaching from the top to the bottom, rather than a circle or a square or a diamond, whatever other skin there is. So if you want to sort of counteract the time between the top and the bottom for a bar skin, how long it takes to get down, I recommend you raise the height to offset to something like negative 50 or negative 70. Lane offset is negative 80. And what that means is the notes are going to squash together. All the notes are going to come together and instead of being wide and having a gap, all the notes are squashed together. And what that helps with is because again with Funky Friday's bar skins since they're so much smaller and thinner as individual notes compared to a circle there's a lot of space between them on default settings say if you have zero. Arrow size is 1.35 because again same reason bar skin is very thin so it looks very small so in order to get even one third of the size of a circle skin you want to make the bars the max size. So arrow speed, 2.15. Arrow size is max size, so 1.35. Lane offset brings the notes together. So bring it. I bring it to negative 80. And height offset raises the notes on the screen to around the middle. So I put that at negative 70. Now I'm going to show you guys a visual demonstration of what this looks like. So let's go here and try and play. Yep, let's play this. It's a good song. Three, two, one, go. So we've got the notes in sort of not too low, like a normal skin, but not too high either. It's sort of around here. And to compensate for the notes being, the receptor being so high, we lower the speed so that it, the notes don't just zoom to the bottom. So now we have a semi-good bar skin. Now I like to put my mouse in the middle of the screen to help me find a place to look at. If you've got a slightly less solid black background, you can look at something in the back. Or if you don't need a center point to look at, you don't have to worry about it. But this bar skin looks pretty good. And the hit sand works really well with it. Death. So that's going to wrap up today's video on the settings that I recommend to help you improve in Funky Friday. I've done the circle skin, which is obviously a crowd favorite. A lot of people use circle. A lot of top names do. And then we have bar. This is an experiment, really. I find that this skin works really well despite being bars. So if you want to give it a crack and see if bars is for you, then be my guest. I hope this video helped. If you enjoyed and if you made it to the end, let me know in the comments because I want your feedback and I definitely want to know if you found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all in future videos. Until then, see you later.